This video is not financial advice, for entertainment only. Xpeng Motors, NYSE, XPEV, the Chinese leading EV maker, that surged since its August US stock listing, has started to offer its vehicles in Norway, its first market outside of China. The first batch of Xpeng G3 electric crossovers for Europe arrived in Norway this week. This first batch is a batch of 100 vehicles. The G3 is a competitively low-priced electric crossover. For what you get, in terms of both features and range, pricing in Norway starts at 358,000 Norwegian kroner, $41,000. That would be the version with a 50.5 kWh battery pack, providing 401 kilometers (250 miles) of range according to the NEDC rating system. A G3 with a larger 66.5 kWh battery pack provides 520 kilometers 320 miles of range according to the NEDC system can charge its battery from 30% to 80% in 30 minutes it has also been awarded 5 stars in China's CNCAP crash tests moreover the price of this model would mark out Xpeng as especially competitive Norway makes a lot of sense for Xpeng Norway's supportive government policies, advanced charging infrastructure and high awareness of EVs made the country the best fit for Xpeng's first European foray. The country has some of the richest EV subsidies anywhere. Their tax incentives can amount to about one-third of the EV purchase price. EV owners in Norway also get added benefits like discounts of up to half the price for parking and tolls. Norway is the country where EVs have seized a dominant market share. 80% of new auto sales in Norway in November were plug-in vehicles. And 56% of the new sales were full electrics. This is by far the most mature market in the world for electric vehicles. So it's a natural place for Xpeng to begin its foreign sales. Norway wants all new cars sold to be zero emission by 2025. While it's a small market overall. China, for comparison, wants to hit that goal a decade later. China's goal includes all electric and hybrid electric vehicles. Roughly half of all cars sold in Norway today are zero emission. EV penetration in China is roughly 5% today. Government policies, falling battery costs, and an overall rebound in car sales. From pandemic-induced lows are all reasons EV stocks are on fire. In the long run, if you want to be a successful EV company, you have to be a global one, said Brian G. Yu, Xpeng's vice chairman and president. We're starting the effort to build our presence, doing limited testing in certain markets, and treating this as a very long-term strategy. Any sales outside of China would be another big milestone. Among many for the company and the Chinese EV industry, NIO has also expressed plans to sell cars overseas. Xpeng will introduce the model to more nations in Europe during 2021. Xpeng launches in Europe as part of a long-term plan to establish itself in the Western EV market. Xpeng is expecting success in Norway, and more broadly in Europe, and perhaps North America one day. This is my analysis for Xpeng today. Please subscribe below in order to receive my daily analysis and findings. Thanks for watching.